Hello and welcome to this edition of the State of Soy. I'm Aaron Putzi and we're continuing our series of visiting with directors of the Iowa Soybean Association. I'm chatting today with Marty Danzer. Marty farms near Carroll, Iowa, West Central Iowa, and has been a director now serving on the Iowa Soybean Association board and being involved in a variety of committees and efforts that ISA is involved in. But first, let's talk a little bit about your operation. Tell us about your farm. Um, basically, my farming operation, Aaron, we have a cow-calf operation, and we run a, a corn, soybeans, and hay, and then we run cover crops also. And we use a lot of the cover crops for livestock feed. So we've been doing that for approximately 30 years. So definitely not a newcomer to that industry. And we're, we're actually filming this in the basement of Iowa Soybean Association where there's a lot of tools that are involved with doing the kind of research work that the Research Center for Farming Innovation is involved in. And I know as a director and also a soybean farmer, you're very active in research work on your farm to look at ways to not only improve soil and, and, and water quality, but also productivity in your bottom line. Yeah, the, we put in a, a strip trial this year. I worked with Scott Nelson and uh, we did the early and late planting of uh, soybeans. So we did took two different varieties and uh, planted one, I think it was about two weeks prior, it was late April when we planted the first variety. And we came back about the 5th of May and planted the second variety. And actually the early planted beans this year were about 20 bushels better than what the, the uh, late planted beans were. And, for the year that we've had, the, as far as yields, it's been just phenomenal for the moisture that we had. We had a very productive, probably the best years in all of my farming. So based on that work uh, this past growing season, are you looking to do some additional research work this coming season? We'll probably be getting together with, with Scott and doing some for this coming season too. So Good. we'll look forward to doing it again. What else have you enjoyed about serving as a director and helping lead the organization? I guess one of the things that I enjoy is just working with the different people and network working with people, getting different ideas. Agriculture with technology is changing by the minute and uh, it's just interesting to keep up to date on that and it's been very beneficial to help me in my operation. If you think about the issues and there's no shortage of issues affecting soybean farmers and agriculture right now, what's an issue or two that kind of has your attention, Marty, as you think about the impact it has on your bottom line as a soybean farmer and that of other farmers? Probably the biggest thing that's coming at us right now is the carbon credits. It's going to be interesting how, how that all plays out. And uh, I think, you know, climate change is an issue. I mean, we have to learn of different ways to address that issue. And it'll be interesting just to see how that all plays out in time. And I know ag awareness is a passion of yours as well, helping connect the 98% uh, the of Iowans who don't farm with the 2% or do you, you've been involved in, in ag awareness activities as well. We've got a big job ahead of us. I mean, as we get more people further removed from the rural sector, we have to educate the uh, urban sector of how we produce and what we produce and that we're using the best interest of everybody. Well, and you've done that and thank you for, for offering your time and effort to be part of that. Last question, there's soybean farmers who are watching this that maybe haven't you know, signed up to really uh, maximize uh, the opportunity that comes with their soybean checkoff. I mean, you can get more involved with the ISA. There's, there's no cost for additional membership because of the soybean checkoff. What would be your recommendation to them as to why they should get more involved? Basically, it's promoting a product that we produce every day. Working with the soybean producers, it's a good way to promote our product. Marty is one of 22 farmers who volunteer their time to lead the Iowa Soybean Association as a farmer director on the board of directors. Reporting for this edition of the State of Soy, I'm Aaron Putzi. Progress is a human invention. We look at our world and we imagine how to make it better. That's the power of human ingenuity. We can redefine what's possible. At Bayer, we're shaping the future of agriculture. Like farms where all life grows together. It's not impossible, it's progress.